Give me the song and I'll sing it like I mean it. Hey, what's up, guys? Rex here, and if you like that intro, uh, just hit up my services and pricings video, which will be uploaded soon because it's rendering right now, almost done. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I will upload that. And it's gonna tab all my services and prices. I do backgrounds, icons, promos, you name it, intros. Um, it's one of my new intro styles I like a lot. And uh, Rex Art. My last name is Rex Art, and I changed the name. Of my design thing from uh, SWAT designs over to Rex Art because it kind of goes with my last name. Everybody calls me Rex, but enough about me into the tutorial. So today's tutorial is on my selective coloring flower effect I used in my last video. And we're going to go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. And we're going to open our photo. Here it is, I'm using the same photo so that this is a lot easier. Now the first thing we want to do is unlock our layer, and I'm going to hit control I, oh no we don't want to do that, <laughs> control J, so we can duplicate it, sorry about that, and over our layer copy we're going to go ahead and create a layer mask, but we're going to select our actual layer and control U, so that we can desaturate video it the forest it could be shrunk down was nine minutes and that took up two songs so doing this really well is going to take you a while and you're going to go through a lot of trial and error when you first start using it um, it's a really nice effect all you have to do is paint over what you want i mean anywhere on the picture will work literally now if you have a hard uh, area to do Change your foreground color to white, and it'll just take it right back to black and white, which is on the next step of the tutorial. Alright, so if there's a hard area um, that you particularly want to do, like this step we're gonna do over here, and you can't just quite get it in right, you're gonna zoom on that. Our quick selection tool. So select that. And that was bad because it's in the background. So we're gonna have to select the main thing. We will select this. This has got a bunch of parts on it. As you can see, our quick selection tool quickly creates a nice mask around it. Um, you're gonna want to be more precise. I wasn't, and uh, we can also use the magic wand tool, but sometimes that goes crazy like that. And another thing is to use the lasso, but that's pretty much freehand where you have to draw where you want. But it all works. Just have your foreground color as black when you're using your tool if you want to paint it in, or if you want to be with black and white, then you can mess it up and just change it over to white. Oh, uh, I had a few uh, people ask me how to do this, that's why I made this tutorial. But I'd like to say thanks for watching Rex here, and please like, comment, and subscribe.